here's another one. I wish that the apple pancake mix was on the top shelf because it starts with an A. But I don't put it there because I don't want you breaking one of your little legs when you're supposed to be making my breakfast. Is it my turn to talk about the compromises I make? I wasn't done, but go ahead. He said compromising. Because of you, I'm not allowed to adjust the temperature in my own home. I'm not allowed to whistle. I don't wear shoes that might squeak. Well, you're a physicist, not a circus clown. Um, do you realize I don't live with the woman I love because of you? No other reason, just you. Is that true? Yes, it's true. The last time I brought it up, you had an emotional breakdown and got on a train and ran away. Well, given my history on the subject, it seems a little reckless to bring it up now. So I'm, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. I've, I've been holding a lot of this in for a while. Well, I'm sorry, too. And if you want to live with Penny, then I think you should. Do you mean that? Yes. Yeah, just put on your squeaky shoes and ee -ee -ee your way out of my life. Come on, don't get upset. I'm not upset. I'm just imagining a world without my best friend in it. Sheldon. It's okay. I, I, I'm not leaving your world. I'm just talking about living across the hall. I understand. Either way, I want you to know that I'm aware of how difficult I can be. So I just want to say thank you for putting up with me. Buddy. <laughs> Everything's fine. We just started talking about living arrangements. Are you crazy? You know he's a flight risk. <laughs> it's exactly what I told him. Sheldon, we know this is a sensitive subject, and Leonard's not going to move out until you're ready. Well, what if you did it gradually? All right. Uh, how about we start with two nights a week? I live with Penny. How about one night, and I let you whistle. Okay. When I'm not home. You got it. There we go. Compromising again. We really are the best. <laughs>